Phrases from a woman who needs to be intimated with you. Hello, gentlemen. It's Pamela Raquel here, and today we're going to explore a topic that's crucial for understanding the subtle ways women communicate their needs for intimacy. This article will help you decode the intimate phrases and verbal cues women use to express their desires, offering insights into how you can respond effectively and foster a deeper connection. By the end of this article, you'll have a better grasp of how to navigate the complex landscape of communication in relationships and build stronger, more meaningful bonds. Let's dive in. 1. Recognizing Verbal Cues of Intimacy Verbal cues are often the first indicators of a woman's desire for intimacy. These cues can be subtle and might not always be explicit. Women may use certain phrases or expressions to hint at their need for closeness and emotional connection. Recognizing these cues involves paying attention to her choice of words, the topics she brings up, and the frequency with which she discusses personal or intimate matters. For example, if she starts talking about her feelings more often or shares personal stories, it's a sign that she's opening up and seeking a deeper connection. Being attuned to these verbal cues can help you understand her needs and respond with empathy and sensitivity. 2. Common phrases that hint at deeper desires. Women often use specific phrases that subtly hint at their desire for more intimacy. Phrases like, I miss spending time with you, or I feel like we haven't talked in a while, indicate a longing for more connection and communication. Other phrases, such as, I've been thinking about us, or I love when we have these deep conversations, suggest that she values emotional closeness and is seeking more of it. Pay attention to these phrases and respond by engaging in meaningful dialogue and spending quality time together. These moments are opportunities to build intimacy and strengthen your bond. 3. The role of tone and context in her words. The tone and context in which a woman speaks can greatly influence the meaning behind her words. A soft, gentle tone might indicate vulnerability and a desire for reassurance, while a more excited or enthusiastic tone could signal eagerness for a deeper connection. The context of the conversation also matters. For instance, if she brings up a personal topic during a quiet, private moment, it suggests she's seeking a more intimate exchange. Conversely, if she discusses something meaningful in a more casual setting, it might indicate she's trying to gauge your interest in deeper conversation. Understanding the nuances of tone and context helps you interpret her intentions more accurately and respond in a way that fosters closeness. 4. Responding appropriately to her signals. Responding appropriately to a woman's verbal cues requires attentiveness and empathy. When she expresses a need for more intimacy, it's important to acknowledge her feelings and show that you're willing to engage. This means actively listening, providing thoughtful responses, and validating her emotions. For example, if she says she misses spending time with you, respond by suggesting an activity you can do together to reconnect. If she shares something personal, show appreciation for her openness and offer your own thoughts or experiences in return. Being responsive and considerate in your interactions demonstrates that you value her feelings and are committed to deepening your relationship. 5. Building emotional connection through dialogue. Dialogue is a powerful tool for building emotional connection. Engaging in open, honest conversations helps to foster trust and intimacy. To build a deeper connection, focus on discussing topics that matter to both of you, such as your goals, dreams, and feelings. Share your own experiences and be receptive to hers. Ask open-ended questions that encourage her to express herself more fully, and listen with empathy and understanding. By creating a safe space for dialogue, you help to build a strong emotional bond that forms the foundation of a healthy, intimate relationship. 6. Misinterpretations and how to avoid them. Misinterpretations can occur when you misread a woman's verbal cues or take her words at face value without considering the underlying emotions. To avoid misunderstandings, pay close attention to both her words and the context in which they're spoken. If you're unsure about her meaning, don't hesitate to ask for clarification. For example, if she says she feels distant, ask her what specific actions or changes might help her feel closer to you. Avoid jumping to conclusions or making assumptions about her intentions. Instead, seek to understand her perspective and respond with empathy and openness. Clear communication helps to prevent misinterpretations and fosters a more harmonious relationship. 7. Enhancing verbal intimacy in your relationship. Enhancing verbal intimacy involves creating an environment where open, honest communication is encouraged and valued. This means being intentional about your conversations and making time for meaningful dialogue. Share your own thoughts and feelings openly, 
and encourage her to do the same. Use affirming language that shows appreciation for her and your relationship. Compliments, expressions of gratitude, and positive affirmations can help to strengthen your emotional bond and make her feel valued and cherished. By prioritizing verbal intimacy, you can deepen your connection and build a stronger, more fulfilling relationship. 8. Keeping communication open and honest. Maintaining open and honest communication is essential for fostering intimacy and trust. Encourage transparency in your relationship by being open about your own feelings and encouraging her to share hers. Be honest about your needs, desires, and concerns, and create a safe space for her to do the same. Address any issues or misunderstandings promptly and constructively, and work together to find solutions. By keeping the lines of communication open, you build a foundation of trust and mutual respect that supports a healthy, intimate relationship. By understanding and responding to a woman's verbal cues for intimacy, you can build deeper, more meaningful connections and foster a stronger, more fulfilling relationship. Each of these strategies helps to create a supportive and empathetic environment where intimacy can thrive. If you found these tips useful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more valuable advice. Until next time, this is Pamela Raquel reminding you to stay attentive and responsive to the subtle cues that can transform your relationships. If you've made it this far my love, comment below with the word, 100%, or something else to let me know, to confirm that you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and share it later. Let's continue. Words of wanting, phrases that signal her interest. Understanding when a woman is signaling her interest in closer physical or emotional intimacy can often be a complex and subtle process. As Pamela Raquel, I'm here to help you decode the specific phrases and cues that indicate her desire for deeper connection. This article will provide valuable insights into recognizing and responding to these signals, fostering a supportive environment for open communication. By the end of this guide, you'll be better equipped to navigate the nuances of intimacy and build more meaningful relationships. 1. Listening for subtlety in her language. Women often communicate their needs and desires in subtle ways, using language that may not always be direct. It's essential to listen carefully to the nuances in her words and tone. She might say something like, I've been thinking a lot about us lately, or I really enjoy spending time with you. These statements may seem casual but can carry a deeper meaning of wanting more intimacy. Pay attention to the context and frequency of these phrases. If she often brings up how much she values your time together or how she's been thinking about your relationship, it's a sign that she's interested in exploring a deeper connection. Listening for these subtle cues can help you understand her emotional needs and respond accordingly. 2. Direct versus indirect expressions of need. Women may express their needs for intimacy either directly or indirectly, depending on their comfort level and communication style. A direct expression might be something like, I feel like we should talk more about our future together, indicating a clear desire for a deeper emotional connection. Indirect expressions, on the other hand, can be more nuanced. She might say, I've been feeling a bit lonely lately, or, I miss the way we used to talk. These statements imply a need for closer intimacy without directly stating it. Understanding the difference between direct and indirect expressions can help you respond appropriately and supportively, fostering a stronger connection. 3. Analyzing her conversational hints. Women often drop hints about their needs and desires during everyday conversations. Phrases like, I love how open we can be with each other, or, it's nice to be able to talk about anything with you, suggest a desire for emotional closeness and openness. These hints are her way of testing the waters to see if you're on the same page. Take note of recurring themes in her conversations. Does she frequently mention wanting to spend more quality time together or discuss topics related to future plans? Analyzing these conversational hints can provide valuable insights into her desires for deeper intimacy and help you address them thoughtfully. 4. Encouraging open discussion about needs. Encouraging open discussions about needs is crucial for building a strong, intimate relationship. Let her know that you're interested in understanding her feelings and desires by creating opportunities for open dialogue. Ask questions like, how do you feel about where we are in our relationship, or, is there something you'd like to talk about that we haven't discussed? Creating a safe and supportive environment for these conversations shows that you value her perspective and are committed to meeting her needs. It also encourages her to express herself more freely, leading to a deeper and more fulfilling connection. 5. Navigating conversations about intimacy. 
Conversations about intimacy can be sensitive and require a delicate approach. When she hints at wanting to discuss more intimate topics, respond with empathy and openness. Acknowledge her feelings and provide reassurance that you're interested in exploring these topics together. For instance, if she says, I think we should talk about our future, respond with, I'd love to hear your thoughts and share mine as well. This approach validates her feelings and opens the door for a deeper, more meaningful conversation about your relationship and shared goals. 6. Impact of Emotional Intelligence on Understanding Emotional intelligence EQ, plays a significant role in understanding and responding to a woman's needs for intimacy. High EQ involves being aware of your own emotions, recognizing her emotional cues, and responding empathetically. It allows you to pick up on the subtleties of her language and behavior that indicate her desires for a deeper connection. To enhance your emotional intelligence, practice active listening, show empathy in your interactions, and be mindful of your own emotional responses. This will help you create a more supportive and understanding environment for discussing intimate needs and building a stronger emotional bond. 7. Creating safe spaces for sensitive topics. Creating a safe space for discussing sensitive topics is essential for fostering open and honest communication. Make sure she feels comfortable and respected when expressing her needs and desires. This involves being non-judgmental, patient, and supportive in your responses. Encourage her to share her thoughts and feelings by asking open-ended questions and showing genuine interest in her perspective. Creating a safe and supportive atmosphere helps build trust and makes it easier for her to discuss sensitive topics related to intimacy and emotional connection. 8. Respecting her boundaries when she expresses needs. Respecting her boundaries is crucial when she expresses her needs for intimacy. Understand that her comfort levels and desires may change, and it's important to be flexible and respectful in your approach. If she expresses a need for more space or time to think about her feelings, honor that request without pressure or judgment. Respecting her boundaries shows that you value her autonomy and are committed to supporting her in a way that feels right for her. This respect fosters a deeper sense of trust and security in the relationship, paving the way for a more meaningful and intimate connection. Understanding and responding to the subtle cues and phrases that signal a woman's desire for intimacy is a key part of building a deep and meaningful relationship. By listening carefully, encouraging open dialogue, and respecting her boundaries, you can create a supportive environment that fosters closeness and connection. If you found these insights helpful, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more tips on understanding and building strong relationships. Together, we can explore the dynamics of intimacy and connection, helping you create lasting and fulfilling bonds. Stay tuned for more articles and videos that delve into the intricacies of relationships and emotional intelligence. If you've made it this far my love, Comment below with the word, 100%, or something else to let me know, to confirm that you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and share it later. Let's continue. Between the lines, understanding her need for closeness. Hello, my name is Pamela Raquel, and today I want to talk to you about something incredibly important in any relationship, understanding your partner's subtle signals of needing closeness and intimacy. Often, women communicate their desires for connection in ways that might not be immediately obvious. By learning to recognize these less obvious cues, you can deepen your relationship and create a more intimate bond. This article will guide you through interpreting these signals and offer practical tips on how to respond effectively and sensitively. Let's dive in. 1. Decoding hidden messages in everyday conversation. Women often use subtle cues and indirect language to express their need for closeness. These hidden messages can be found in everyday conversations, where she might be hinting at her desire for more connection and intimacy. Expressions of loneliness, if she mentions feeling lonely or isolated, even in a casual context, it could be her way of expressing a need for more emotional closeness. Pay attention to statements like, I feel like I haven't connected with anyone in a while, as these can be a plea for more intimate interaction. Seeking affirmation, comments that seem to seek validation, such as, do you think I did well? or, do you still love me, may indicate a deeper need for reassurance and connection. These statements can reflect a desire for more emotional support and closeness. Mentioning quality time, if she talks about wanting to spend more quality time together, it's a clear sign that she craves more intimacy. Phrases like, we haven't had a night out in a while, or, I miss our time together, are direct indicators of her need for closeness. By tuning into these hidden messages, you can better understand her needs and respond in a way that strengthens your connection. 
2. Signals in her stories and anecdotes. Women often use stories and anecdotes to convey their feelings and needs. These narratives can contain valuable clues about her desire for intimacy and closeness. Reflecting on past experiences, when she shares stories about past experiences that brought her joy or comfort, she might be signaling a desire to recreate those feelings. For example, reminiscing about a romantic getaway could be her way of hinting that she wants to create new, similar memories with you. Subtle comparisons, if she mentions how other couples or friends are experiencing closeness, it could be a way of highlighting what she feels is missing in your relationship. Statements like, my friend's partner always plans surprise dates for her, might be a gentle nudge for you to increase your efforts in fostering intimacy. Talking about emotional moments, sharing stories about emotional experiences, whether they are her own or others, can indicate a need for deeper emotional connection. If she talks about a touching movie scene or a heartfelt story, she might be expressing her own desire for similar emotional closeness. By paying attention to the themes and emotions in her stories, you can gain insight into her unspoken needs and desires. 3. The importance of reciprocal communication. Effective communication is a two-way street, and reciprocal communication is key to understanding her needs for closeness. This involves actively engaging in conversations, showing empathy, and providing thoughtful responses. Active listening, show that you are truly listening by making eye contact, nodding, and responding appropriately. Reflect back what she says to ensure you understand her perspective. For example, if she says she feels overwhelmed, respond with empathy, it sounds like you've had a really tough day. How can I help? Sharing your own feelings, reciprocity means being open about your own feelings as well. Share your thoughts and emotions to create a balanced conversation. This openness can encourage her to share more about her needs and desires. Asking thoughtful questions, ask questions that show you are interested in her feelings and thoughts. Questions like, how did that make you feel, or, what can I do to support you more, demonstrate that you are invested in her emotional well-being and are willing to work towards deeper intimacy. Reciprocal communication builds trust and understanding, creating a stronger foundation for your relationship. 4. Tips for deepening conversational intimacy. Deepening conversational intimacy involves creating an environment where she feels comfortable and encouraged to share her innermost thoughts and feelings. Here are some tips to help you achieve this. Create a safe space, make sure she feels safe and supported in sharing her thoughts. Avoid interrupting or judging her statements. Show her that you value her feelings by listening without immediately offering solutions. Be present, give her your full attention during conversations. Put away distractions like your phone or TV, and focus solely on her. This attentiveness shows that you care about what she has to say and are committed to understanding her. Share intimate details, open up about your own fears, dreams, and experiences. Sharing intimate details about your life encourages her to do the same, creating a deeper emotional connection. Practice empathy, show empathy by acknowledging her feelings and validating her experiences. Statements like, I understand why you feel that way, or, that must have been really difficult for you, can go a long way in building intimacy. By fostering deeper conversational intimacy, you can create a more connected and fulfilling relationship. 5. Avoiding common communication pitfalls. Avoiding common communication pitfalls is essential for maintaining and building intimacy in your relationship. Here are some traps to avoid. Interrupting, interrupting can make her feel unheard and undervalued. Practice active listening and allow her to finish her thoughts before responding. Defensiveness, avoid getting defensive when she expresses her feelings or concerns. Instead of immediately defending yourself, listen to her perspective and try to understand where she's coming from. Minimizing her feelings, never minimize her feelings or tell her she's overreacting. Statements like, you're being too sensitive, can undermine her trust and willingness to share. Validate her feelings and show empathy instead. Avoiding difficult topics, don't shy away from difficult conversations. Addressing issues head-on, with empathy and understanding, can help resolve conflicts and build a stronger connection. By being mindful of these pitfalls, you can create a more open and trusting communication environment. 6. Strengthening trust through understanding. Trust is the cornerstone of any intimate relationship, and understanding her needs and feelings is key to building and strengthening this trust. Be consistent. Consistency in your actions and words builds trust. Show her that you are reliable and that she can count on you to be there for her, both emotionally and physically. 
Respect her boundaries, respect her boundaries and avoid pushing her to share more than she is comfortable with. This respect shows that you value her feelings and are willing to wait until she is ready to open up. Show empathy, empathy is crucial for building trust. Try to see things from her perspective and show that you care about her feelings and experiences. Follow through, if you make a promise or commitment, follow through on it. Keeping your word builds trust and shows that you are dependable and trustworthy. Strengthening trust through understanding creates a more secure and intimate relationship. 7. Adapting to her communication style. Every woman has her own unique communication style, and adapting to it can help you understand her needs for closeness more effectively. Observe and learn, pay attention to how she communicates, both verbally and non-verbally. Notice whether she prefers direct or indirect communication, and adapt your approach accordingly. Ask for clarification, if you're unsure about her feelings or what she is trying to communicate, don't be afraid to ask for clarification. Questions like, can you tell me more about what you mean, can help you understand her better. Be flexible, be willing to adapt your communication style to meet her needs. Whether she prefers more detailed conversations or brief check-ins, adjusting your approach can help create a more harmonious and intimate relationship. Respect her preferences, respect her communication preferences and avoid trying to change them. Embrace her unique style and find ways to connect that work for both of you. Adapting to her communication style shows that you value her individuality and are committed to understanding her. 8. Using your responses to encourage more openness. Your responses to her communication can encourage more openness and intimacy. Here's how to respond in a way that fosters a deeper connection. Be affirmative, use affirmative responses to show that you are listening and valuing her input. Statements like, I appreciate you sharing that with me, or, that's a really important perspective, can encourage her to open up more. Offer support, show your support by offering help or simply being there for her. Responses like, how can I support you in this, or, I'm here for you, demonstrate your commitment to her well-being. Express gratitude, express gratitude for her openness and vulnerability. Thank her for sharing her feelings and experiences, and acknowledge the courage it takes to open up. Be encouraging, encourage her to share more by asking open-ended questions and expressing genuine interest in her thoughts and feelings. This encouragement can help create a more open and trusting communication environment. By using your responses to foster openness, you can build a deeper and more meaningful connection with her. The path to deeper connection. Understanding her need for closeness involves paying attention to subtle cues and being proactive in your communication. By decoding hidden messages, engaging in reciprocal communication, and adapting to her unique style, you can create a stronger and more intimate relationship. Remember, building closeness takes time and effort, but the rewards are well worth it. A deeper connection leads to greater trust, understanding, and overall relationship satisfaction. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tips and advice on building fulfilling relationships. Stay tuned for more insights on understanding your partner's needs and fostering deeper connections. Feel free to make adjustments or let me know if there's anything specific you'd like to add.